Hey LaJosa Movies family, in this video we take a look at the biggest, richest, and most influential music industries in Africa. As we saw in our previous video, Sub-Saharan Africa is the world's fastest growing music industry by sales revenue. The region's sales revenue grew by 35% in 2022 according to the International Federation of the Phonographic Industries Global Music Report 2023. So, who is making this possible? We now dive into the specific music industries by country. have brought drastic changes to Africa's music scene, and naturally, the world is paying more attention. African music has never been more popular, and one of the biggest contributing factors to this popularity is the increased use of streaming services worldwide, especially in Africa. From last year's report on African countries generating the highest music streaming revenue, something becomes obvious, the growth of the sub-Saharan African music market is heavily backed by streaming just as the revenue prospects are climbing higher. Popular streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, and Boomplay have pushed African music to the ears of listeners from all parts of the world. This means that thanks to streaming, the barriers to visibility for the best of African music have decreased considerably. With subscribers to streaming platforms increasing annually, it appears that the only way to go is up. The Nigerian Afrobeats, Congolese Zouk, and the South African Ama Piano are driving transformation of the African entertainment and music industry towards global recognition on a daily basis. With the growth in the number of online or media streams and the number of emerging artists in Africa, we now look at the top three biggest music industries in Africa. First on the list is... South Africa's booming music market, record sales revenue growth of more than 30% year-on-year. The industry is valued at more than $140 million. Traditional non-streaming sources of publishing revenue account for 75% of all revenue generated. The South Africa Ama Piano proved its staying power to be the second best and biggest music industry in Africa, with singer like Master KG, rappers like Young Stunna and Casper Nyabest getting into the mix, and the genre expanding far beyond the Pretoria and Joburg taxi ranks and Shabines where it originated. Across Africa and further into the globe, Ama Piano is one of the enjoyable beat trying to dominate after Nigeria Afro beats. According to Spotify's end-of-year chart, musicians from this genre snatched up the first five spots on the list of most streamed local artists in South Africa. First, the growth is a result of a massive race for market share and subsequently a big investment in marketing with the main digital streaming platforms. Second, the Amapiano genre drove hits, and artists like DJ Mafarisa and Kabza attracted a bigger streaming audience in South Africa. Music streaming leader Spotify reported this week that its data showed Ama Piano tracks generated close to 2 billion streams last year, representing a 143% increase over 2021. It said, the genre has garnered a huge following, with more than 240,000 playlists featuring Ama Piano in the title and over 10 million playlists featuring at least one Ama Piano track. Over 40% of Ama Piano streams come from listeners outside South Africa. Nigeria is the powerhouse when it comes to music in Africa, starting from King Sunny Ade, Fela Kuti, and to recent global artists like Wizkid, Burna Boy, Davido, Root Boy, Banj, Timaya, Tiwa Savage, and Paterankin, among others. To start with, the country is blessed with a big home market of over 200 million people in Nigeria, and most of them are music lovers. So with the help of this large population, it is very easy for talented music artists in Nigeria to be globally recognized because of the millions of music streams, YouTube video views, and other key things that are needed to succeed in the international music space. Streaming Revenue as technology continues to impact the music industry with easy access to music, Nigerian artists are earning streaming royalty through digital distribution platforms. The industry has also gone from CD eras to streaming eras with streaming platforms such as Apple Music, Spotify, Audiomac, YouTube, and Boomplay. 
Based on the study conducted by Statista in Nigeria, the music sector's revenue grew from 26 million US dollars in 2014 to 34 million dollars in 2018. This figure, according to the research and projection by Statista, is expected to grow to 44 million dollars by 2023. In any industry, success depends on investment. Tanzanian artists have invested quite a lot in the industry. Audios are with the quality instrumentals and videos are of the best quality. This coupled with a few other factors have propelled the Tanzanian music industry to the top. Almost or nearby 98% of Tanzania artists uses Swahili language as the medium of entertainment. And Swahili language is the most spoken language in Tanzania, so through the demand of music fans, the music easily penetrates to the public. Other notable growing music industries across Africa include Ghana music industry with its high life genre, the Congolese with Rumba, Cameroon, Senegal, Benin, Kenya, and Uganda. Let us know what you think of these music industries in the comments section. In the next episode, we explore the richest and most influential artists in Africa. Make it a point not to miss by simply clicking on the notifications bell. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing this video and subscribing to Lajosa Movies.